Can you go type in a name? Oh, fuck. All right, I got you. Can you type in... Um, you know what? You type in whatever you want. Oh, let's do the intro while we're here. Because, oh, okay. Hey, I'm Addison. I'm... He's John. I'm John, by and, the way. And we're doing Dark Souls Prepare to Die. Uh, edition. They call prepare it. to Die edition. So this is the I, uh, <laughs> complete edition of Dark Souls. What do you want to say? I got to walk over to the fucking computer to type your name. Yeah, in. we wanted to do the intro so we could type in the character name now. Okay. Uh, wh- who, who are we? I don't know. You ch- you pick. You make it funny. Okay. All right. We're going to do some live commentary while he tries to make it funny, folks. He's typing. He's He blundered it already. Thomas... A- Dude, failed. Thomas Addison in one word. Um, hold on, you might have to press yeah, you might have to press sex. Just press it. You fucking bro oh press accept. Wait, what the fuck? I press start. He f- Oh, there we go. Thanks. Oh, Thomas Addison. He's Thomas a famous Addison, inventor. here we are. Is there an um, inventor class in this game? There's no inventor class. Okay. Um, but there is. You know, he's more of a businessman. He's not really much of an inventor. So the question is, is do you want me to go like, okay, I'm not playing magic. What do you want to do? Because I don't, I truthfully don't know like much about Dark Souls. Mm. Like compare, I mean, I, I can, I can hang, I can hang with the boys, but when push comes to shove, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's go for a dexterity playthrough because. I don't. I haven't played dexterity. When I played through this game first, I did strength, which was a lot of fun. Okay. But also, you just swing a big ass sword and you do fuck ton of damage. Now, are you comfortable doing that playthrough? If you um, know, or do you think there's gonna be some struggles? I mean, there's some. There's str- gonna be some struggles, but I think I think organic struggles is part of the fun. Okay. So gotcha. for reference, yeah, who wants to play a Dark Souls? Let's play where there's no struggles. In all honesty, at that point, like, what the fuck is the point? Yeah. So don't challenge yourself too much, though. Don't be like a little bit of a try hard, you know. Ooh, I like that. We we uh, we take no, the controller I, out of my hands. All of a sudden, I'm just like, well, be well, be careful, honey. Well, don't. Uh, yeah, right. Don't try hard. Me, me, the try hardenest guy. I'm a I'm a bitch when it comes to these games. Like I'm always looking for like more health and shit like that. Like, that's fine by me, man. I feel I feel like that's my rule of thumb with this game too. Because I I sweat in games, right? But part of that is like making sure I'm extra prepared. I, I'll do hardest difficulty, but I'll still get the side content. I'll still pick yeah. up every, you know, every um, uh, advantage I can get, you know? I'm not customizing my character a ton, but I wanted to make him look like Leon Kennedy. Okay. So that's my, that's my Leon Kennedy. Yeah, give him Kennedy. the silver hair too, because it's Thomas Addison. Yeah, you know what? You got yeah, me. Yeah, so it kind of it kind of works. Um, Unlike a John Hub-led playthrough, I am going to keep it on during the... Uh, during the cutscenes. Do you want me to be quiet during these? No, or? no. We could just talk okay. over them still. Like yeah. nothing happened. So this is Dark Souls 1. And there's a lot of lore. Shout out to Vati Vidya, who does a lot of the Dark Souls lore and Elden Ring lore and, and Souls lore. Um, in this... The world of Dark Souls is a little cyclic. So basically like as... Cyclic. Cyclic. Uh, which as it goes through, the world repeats and changes and repeats and changes and repeats and changes from darkness to dragons to fire and so on and so forth. And we get we see that again when we get to Dark Souls 3. But um, this first one is really, really awesome because it was naturally the foundation off of what Demon Souls established. Mm-hmm. And uh, it really shows. I think this is... While it's really rough around the edges due to its age, uh, I think this came out in 2011, um, it is really, really magical from a game perspective. Like, once you play through it once, I think it's just stuck on you. Now, do you think that Demon Souls wasn't shit until Dark Souls came out? I feel like this is the game that really brought the series to kind of public appeal. Like, everyone was like... No, no, not even. You think so? I, I just didn't really have a close... Fo- Dark Souls is when I kind of heard about the series and everything, and I was like... I just heard about it as like, this is one of the hardest games, and I was like, yeah, this shit kind of hard. Yeah, so Demon Souls was a, was a PS3 exclusive, I want to say, and uh, when it came out, they initially were like, hey, what kind of game are you designing? Because mm-hmm. they wanted a game like Elder Scrolls, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. They wanted a game like Elder Scrolls. Okay. And uh, From Software previously had done the Armored Core series, but also the Kingsfield series, which is like Skyrim, but if it was hard. Mm -hmm. Um, And so they were like, you should make Elder Scrolls, but third person. And from software the entire time, and Miyazaki was like, yeah, 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 I'm totally doing that. I'm totally doing that. And they just, like, surprise dropped Demon's Souls, and it was hard as fuck. Nice. Um, And it was a Souls-like. And it was the first 
first Souls game, and then so Dark Souls came out, and I would say, I don't want to say it mainstreamed it, but I would say that it definitely brought more attention to the franchise, and then I would say it really, oh, that game is loud as fuck. Do you see that desktop audio? Yeah. Do we want to turn that down, or no? Do you want to change it in post? I think, I think, turn, it, I think turn it down in the game settings. All right, I'll do that. that. And we'll just deal with it. It's also a really loud opening cutscene. Yeah, yeah, so fair. that could be part of that. Could be part of it. But there are some loud, like, you know, the the way that the fucking OST comes in. Yeah, from, 100%, you know. which is what I like about the game, frankly. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's loud. So the first the first Souls brought a lot of attention. Uh, I, I would bright. say it became, yeah, it became mainstreamed with um, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne because they released two years apart, I want to say. Okay. And they, that's when they really hit their stride with a faster gameplay style. A lot of people don't like this because it's like full of surprises and it's slow. Because you kind of got shit in your ass when you're you playing it. No, you got shit in your ass for real. Yeah. yeah. But Bloodborne and, and Dark Souls 3 are so much faster where people are like, this is pretty awesome. Yep. And uh, and so I think if this playthrough goes well, I want to do 3 or I want to do Sekiro because Sekiro is awesome. And you played Sekiro. I played Sekiro. I didn't finish it. The only Souls-like or From Software game that I've finished um has been Elden Ring. Really? I did I did like three playthroughs of that. I can't believe you would do that three times to yourself. Yeah. Well, I kind of just like ru I did like New Game Plus 1 and then New Game Plus 2 just okay. kind of rushed through the main story stuff and then it was just marginally harder and I was like, okay. That's fair. Whatever, you know. So this game's really awesome in my opinion. I think you'll really come to like it. I think you'll be asking me for the controller by the end of this playthrough session. There's a possibility, but I don't know about that one. I Maybe do. I'll see you struggling with it, and then I'll be like, oh, "I got this," and then I'll and then I'll kill something. There's a like, chance I do struggle with I'll it. I'll be like, "Yippee!" Certain aspects of this game are pretty hard, but they're also like when you realize the systems that break them up, they're pretty easy. I'd say I struggled on like three bosses in this game, and I mean struggled, struggled mm -hmm. in my strength playthrough, and that was a. Uh, do we care about spoilers in this case? I mean, we're gonna be getting to shit, so go ahead. Uh, so it was Gwyn. Artorius and uh, Manus. That's just a name to me. I, I don't know. even. I'm not even. I don't even know what the fuck that means, really. You know. You really don't know. I don't. I really don't know. Like wow. Dark Souls. I know. They hit you with the the old plin plin plon, and you're gonna be like, you're gonna start crying. I don't know nothing about <laughs> that, but I guess we'll find out. You're gonna be like, holy shit, this game. I kind of like played a little bit of this game. I kind of got lost and then I just dropped. I did not get very far. So that's that's the issue with this game. And frankly, I might require your help in that regard. Is just that to look up a walkthrough and pretend that I didn't. This game. Well, no, we can. I'm not going to lie about looking up a walkthrough. I fucking look up walkthroughs all the time. Yeah, no, same here. Um, But uh, this game is very much a 3D Metroidvania. Okay. And so you have to be prepared for like insane backtracking yeah. and... Um, just hard as fuck environment, um, like environment, uh, movement and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Um, because of the way the game is designed. Yeah. When's the last time you played this exact game? I played it. Dark Souls 1. Probably a few years back, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was supposed to be able to do a back attack there, but whatever. It's just, it's not as smooth as... I mean, watching this now, like, because I played this back then, and then I also played fucking Elden Ring. Yeah. Shit, shit is, like, crazy how, like, oh, how much older it looks, how much more primitive it looks. But it yeah. still, still it retains a lot of, yeah, still retains a lot of that kind of art style and that, uh, that vibe. Yeah, it really, its character still shows through despite it, its age. Yeah. Is, I think, a good way of putting it. Because um, Demon Souls is the only game that's considered like a Souls like that's older than this, right? Demon yeah. Souls is older. Yeah. Well, okay. and Kingsfield, if you want to be loose about it, Kingsfield is very much a Souls like. Okay. It's just first person, and so um, a lot of the times people don't really look at it like that. And also, it's a it's a much less aware of. Uh, I think I have to just go through the big door. Um, Probably. I'm already lost. Um, it's a much less like aware of Souls like. Okay. Uh, do you remember this tutorial boss fight or not? I do, I do. Oh, okay. This cool. guy, I remember. Yeah, he he jumps down and he does a little. Boom. I mean, no, he doesn't. Get I mean, away! No, he doesn't. There he is. This is the asylum demon. Hell yeah! And uh, they still have a lot of the same qualities that Demon Souls has, where a lot of the enemies are named after you know so and so demon, shit ass demon. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a fucking chainsaw man mm -hmm. manga. 
I like it. You know, I haven't seen Chainsaw Man. Have you Have you read it? No, I don't. I don't read much. These people that are telling me, oh, don't just read the manga. No, man, I'm not going to read. Well, why? What's your problem with that? Because the only reading I do is like um, Twitter.com and okay. audiobooks. Do you do you listen to audiobooks? I do listen to audiobooks. What's your most recent audiobook you've listened to? Um, just because it was Halloween. Again, we're recording this on uh, October 30th. I'm sure this is going to come out December or something. Um, but for Halloween, I, I did, I did fucking Mary Shelley Frankenstein, which is kind That's of... That's a good book. I love that book, bro. Oh, I, I really do. I could talk about that any time of year, too. But I fucking love that book, bro. Oh, you turned down the sound? It yeah. turned like five. Four, That's what I was aiming five. for, yeah. yeah. I know Upsetting, good. but it is what it is. You can turn it up in post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can just listen to this in, in the background and be happy that I got to experience the soundtrack of this game one more time. Exactly. Bro. I own the third game soundtrack fully on vinyl. Did I tell you that? Okay. No, you didn't. I also own Bloodborne soundtrack on vinyl. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Big, big fan of these. I games. never played Bloodborne either. Is that is that you? God, think that's a game dude, that's you going should play list? Bloodborne. You think that's going on the list? I, I, of, of I mean, games to play? I'd say it should go on the list, but also like. Frankly, we're trying to avoid games that are a little bit more like story heavy, and like that game is so atmospheric. I would really? almost it's a little bit more of a oh, dude, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. I would one hundred percent recommend you to play that independently, or if we're gonna play it, we have to be prepared to like stream it and not talk that much. Okay, because it is, it is um. This guy is asking me to kill him, by the way, because he's dying. Mm -hmm. So, poor guy. I think um, if if I'm not gonna if our schedules ever allow us to record, maybe more than. Um, I mean, soon it will. Frankly. Yeah, more than once a week or whatever. Or if yeah. you're just like more available or something, or maybe oh, fuck, we could have longer episodes attention. or whatever. I mean, I really have no problem with you know recording a bunch of ten minute episodes and everything. It for certain games like. I feel like if we played like um, like a strategy, if we played like fucking Civ or something like that, or if no. we played, not that that's a game that we would play, but I'm saying like certain games, I think they require longer episodes, like 30 to one hour. Oh, 100%. Episodes. If we played like Monster Hunter Rise. Or, oh, dude, that's a 30 minute long. Yeah, episode, that's like a 30 minute long episode type type situation. I feel like it's just the hunts take a while. Same with like World. world I feel like the hunts world is much longer. Yeah. Um, plin, plin, are you a, are you a preferer of Monster Hunter Rise or Worlds? Uh, I'm your... a big big Rise guy. I think so too. I I, I agree. I I really like the uh, wire bug. In yeah, the game. wire bug and the dog. I like the dog a lot. Yeah, the palamutes the they call them. Is that what it's called? The palamute. Mm -hmm. So the I really palamute. fuck with the dog. I do too. And I didn't play uh, Sunbreak yet. We gotta we gotta do that. That would be actually something I would I would play on here, and I could bring my Steam Deck over so we could play that like that actually. Would... That would work for me, man. I At guess we could just do time, like my yeah. POV or there something. There we go. Not to not to talk uh, talk shop in front of the audience, but uh, what do y'all think? Should we should we do a, a little oh. Monster Hunter situation? Uh -huh. No, that that would be very fun. I, I've been wanting to get back into it. Uh, what's your maybe? Do you want me to distract you during the fucking boss fights, or do you? Um, it's not that deep. Okay, okay. This is this is if I die on this boss fight, everyone gets to make fun of me. He's got a big booty, man. He's got he, a big booty. He got that Aunt Fanny from what's that movie called? Robots. Uh, no. Oh yeah, robots. Aunt Fanny. I thought you were talking about Meet the Meet the Robins. Meet the Rob. No, no, no. Um, um, holy crap! 